Hello there, have you ever been opening your battle packs brand new on release day because you're so excited to get the new clones and wondered what if I made a chess set out of these figures? Well, I did so you don't have to and I do have to say it does look pretty cool but before we get to that yesterday I did rebuild the very first set I reviewed here on the channel and I've got to say the video is pretty cool. I built six Disney Plus shows into a whole Lego mock pyramid so definitely go check that out and also, I haven't had a chance to say this in a video yet. Thank you all for 900 subs. I know I put it out in the community tab, but it's crazy how fast we are growing. I cannot wait to hit 1,000 subs. Don't forget, there's a bunch of specials I'll be doing here on the channel. So if you haven't already, drop a like on the video if you do enjoy and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Anyway, I think these intros tend to be a bit longer now, so let's take a look at the LEGO chessboard. Now, I'm sure you've already seen the chessboard in its entirety somewhat in the thumbnail. But what you won't have seen is just the level of detail that goes into it. As you can hopefully somewhat see on the camera, every single 4x4 four four Lego plate and the base plate underneath are aligned with each other so that that iconic Lego logo you can see is the same way up. That is the level of detail we put into our mocks here on the Master Moldy channel. And for anyone that does that with their build, Honestly, I applaud you. These are just a bunch of plates on a white base plate. I'll break down why I've chose these colours in a second, but this took a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, we've got the clones here, and the easy thing to do would be to have one side 501st, one side 332nd, or perhaps one side plain phase 2, one side Coruscant guards, or something like that. But I have struggled to put together a side of droids. So we'll start off with the clones. Now the reason I chose white and grey opposed to the normal white and black that you'll see on a chessboard is because these are the Republic and Separatist Army's main colours. I mean the Republic is white with a dark red. Good luck going out there and finding even a custom non-Lego dark red base plate. It's a fragile colour as it is and it doesn't really work as a base plate. We tend to have neutral colours like white, like tan, like light grey, and then actual environments like green, blue, which are grass and sea respectively. Even tan can be used as a sandy base plate. But as you can see, the 501st side is looking pretty cool, except for somebody over here, which, you know, any Clone Wars fans will back me up saying, I don't know how he managed to be the king. He's not exactly anyone's most favourable Jedi. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees? What about all the things he did in Clone Wars to, even just to Ahsoka? I mean, do I have to say any more? Anyway, we do have the 501st along the front from the 2020 Battle Pack. And you'll also notice that they are the pawns and the jet troopers from the same battle pack are the rooks of course jet troopers are able to jump lengths of the boards and go whichever direction as long as it's in a straight path otherwise they might spin out of control and this is a mirror image they are both of the rooks on either side same the bishops are the same the knights are the same all the horses depending on what you call them and speaking of the knights we do have two heavies from the more recent last year, 2023 battle pack, with all the specialist troopers from Battlefront 2. And that goes for the bishop as well. The heavies, I feel like, would just be able to charge a direction and perhaps in this horse-like shape. A bit of a unique reasoning, I suppose. But the specialists, especially the snipers in their hands, are able to take long shots directly diagonally across the board so there is a reason for why each of these have their own unique position now to back up ki adi mundi which we'll get to in a second we do have the officer who i feel like the queen's the most powerful piece on the board so i guess the jedi might have worked as the queens but i feel like they're leading the army the officers are the one with most of the power. In Battlefront 2, you can give boost to your squad. So I feel like that is more powerful than just having a ton of health, which, I mean, if the king dies, then you're in trouble. If the enemy team are able to kill a Jedi, they've definitely got some firepower on their side. So we do have the officer here, again, from the 2023 battle pack. 
Now, Kiedi Mundi is actually from the 2018 very controversial battle pack indeed. Clone Troopers and Jedi battle pack, which a lot of people do like their army buildings for battle packs. It makes sense, a battle pack, you want a battle, but you can't have a battle without that Jedi Knight leading the army or the Sith or any sort of commanding officer. So I do really like this battle pack. I did only pick up one because nobody wants a bundle of Jedi Knights, but not every battle pack has to be an army builder. I do like having the occasional one that's just good if you get one. It definitely helps the bank account. And that completes our Republic side. These are sort of the white pieces, as I said, one of the Republic's key colours is white, and then the Separatists are mostly grey. They're a bit duller, and I think that's so we don't like them as much because it's a much darker colour, but that's not necessarily the case. So let me flip this board around and get a good look at the opposition. So here we have the Separatist army. There were a bunch of strings pulled just to try and get a full side. Of course, B1 battle droids we saw in the 2020 battle pack. We've seen in a load of battle packs, but most recently, the 2024 battle pack comes with three of them, so you would need, what, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'd actually need four of them to build this side. But as well as the regular B1s as the pawns, we do have the speeders from the 2024 battle pack. Well, one speeder from the battle pack and one mock-up that saved me £20 in buying another battle pack. But you can pretend... They are both from the 2024 battle pack. The only giveaway is that piece on top. And I really do like the speeder. Similar to the, I guess it's similar to the jetpacks, which are the rooks. But for the rooks of the CIS, we do have the battle droids, which are the closest thing to rocket propelled B2 battle troopers. And I do think it'd be cool to get some printing on them and to get the ones from Battlefront 2. We've seen the 501st clones from it. We've seen... Adam Versio and her squad of Inferno Squadron. So I would like to see some Rocket Troopers and some other characters from Battlefront 2, even after they pulled the plug. Battlefront 2 wasn't really running last year. They pulled the plug on it already. And we still got the 501st Battle Pack. So there is absolutely no excuses from LEGO here unless they had it in the designing phase for a while. But this speeder is really cool and this can zigzag through the battlefield. Only diagonal, much like the clone sniper, which you can always give a droid a sniper if you don't have two of the new battle packs and sort of mimic the 501st. And then, of course, we've got the jetpack trooper. Same reasoning as the jetpack 501st. Now, this officer here, again, if you don't have a commando from the 2012 battle pack, you can whack one of the officers here. They are available May 4th. It's a gift with purchase. It should have been a battle pack. So I am including it here. And once again, if you don't have any of these commanders, just give one of your droids a heavy weapon. Or as I've said, switch out all the 501st helmets for 332nd because you can definitely get enough of them battle packs. And when combining them with the 501st specialist battle pack, you can get some really cool looking troopers. On to the queen of the dark side i guess which is this commando as i said 2012 fail pack come with commandos and arc troopers at this point i just run out of the normal droids and you can definitely include an officer here if you use heavies on the side but i think the commando is definitely more of the queen able to jump about any direction and really does fit the role well now to mimic ki adi mundi or to oppose ki adi mundi i guess in some sense as well we do have Paris Offy from the same Jedi and Clone Trooper Battle Pack. We all know Tales of the Empire is coming out. We're getting three Barris Offy episodes, as well as three... I think they were Sarge Ventress. I keep going to say Grievous. I think they were Sarge Ventress themed episodes, which will be really, really cool to see. I guess we're somewhat getting the lighter side of Asajj and the darker side of Barris because if you haven't watched Clone Wars, she did turn. And to be fair, if you haven't watched Clone Wars, you won't even know who she is. So she is a dark side user, someone who didn't quite agree with the ideals of the Jedi, sort of in that Dooku region, not quite Palps and Vader. But I think she makes a great king for this other side of the chessboard. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I might have to keep this, play a few games. 
I did end up stealing a specialist from my clone trooper display, which I haven't properly shown off, so you can get a sneak peek in this video, but you'll get a closer look at 1000 subs. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. And as always, may the bricks be with you.